The Power of Hope When Faced with Pain and Adversity Hope is a simple word that can mean so much to anyone going through a difficult time. It can mean the difference between giving up and hanging on. It can mean a tiny smile in the face of a devastating diagnosis. It is a word with no true definition. Hope can mean anything you want. I know this firsthand having lived with chronic pain from a neurological movement disorder called dystonia for almost 20 years. At its most severe, I didn't feel like I had any hope at all. I wanted to give up, but something kept me going. It was hope. Hope that I would eventually find something to change my life around from the 180 turn it took where I lost the physical ability to do almost everything. Hope that there was something to relieve my pain, something to relieve my depression, something to comfort my sorrow. Every day I wanted to end it, but every day I knew there was more out there for me to do with my life, which made me hang on. I realize now, almost 20 years later, that the something I was looking for was hope, and I had it the entire time. I just never felt it moving through me until around year five of my diagnosis, when I decided to learn with all my strength how to gain greater control of my symptoms and overall health and dedicate my entire life to it, not just to help myself, but others as well if possible. I also lost 150 pounds I gained from a life filled with chronic pain where I was completely sedentary and had an awful diet. I never would have been able to turn this around without hope and belief in myself. My mission in life soon became helping others who were suffering to let them know that you are not alone and that despite your darkness, there is light to be found. What can help us remain hopeful and optimistic is to know that everything in life will not always go as planned and that this is okay. Sometimes not getting what we want or think we need is often a good thing since there's often something greater on the horizon to fill this place. We must accept that life has obstacles, roadblocks, negative emotions, and circumstances that will derail our plans. Knowing this can help remove burden and worry, helping us better flow through life rather than resist it. We must realize that life is not pure sailing, but an adventure full of valleys and victories. If you think about it, most of us already have hope. Even the most pessimistic person has a glimmer of hope or they wouldn't keep going on. Sometimes we are afraid to believe things can improve because it seems easier to doubt when pummeled with problems. This was how it was for me in my darkest days. When your life is over, would you rather have spent your time believing you had some control over the state of your existence or would you rather have spent that time wondering or living in regret? It is not the amount of time we have in life, but how we spend that time. Eventually, our days will come to an end. So use every penny from your quality of life savings account so you can experience the greatest amount of joy as possible. After writing this, I realized that much of it was in line with the ancient Greek philosophy of Stoicism. Stoicism sets out to remind us how unpredictable the world can be and how brief our moment of life is. It teaches us how to be steadfast and strong and in control of our emotions. Stoicism teaches us to treat each and every moment, no matter how challenging, as something to be embraced, not avoided. To not only be okay with it, but love it and be better for it. Just like a fire needs oxygen to burn, obstacles and adversity can become fuel for our potential if we choose to view it this way. To end this article, I want to quote Marion Zimmer Bradley from her book, The Fall of Atlantis. The road that is built in hope is more pleasant to the traveler than the road built in despair, even though they both lead to the same destination. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen. I hope you enjoyed this. To read and hear more of my, my blogs, please go to my website, which is TomSeamanCoaching.com. Along with my blogs, there are videos, articles, podcasts, and links to other resources. You can also get a copy of my book, Diagnosis Dystonia and Navigating the Journey. It's also available on Amazon in both paperback and Kindle versions. Please also sign up for my free newsletter at TomSeamanCoaching.com. This way, all new blogs and updates will be delivered to your email. You can also go there to sign up for a free health coaching consult with me. Thank you again, and please be well.